What to do everybody, my name is Ross Panetta, chef and owner of Fire Kitchen, and today we're gonna to be testing five famous celebrity hot dog recipes. On today's lineup, we have Chrissy Teigen, David Chang, Tabitha Brown, Maddie Matheson, and Gordon Ramsay. So I measured out all the ingredients exactly as each recipe stated, and I brought three of my friends here to see which one is their favorite. So I got a question for y'all. Is a hot dog a sandwich? I don't know, but let's get these glizzies cracking. So first up, we have Chrissy Teigen. She starts off by boiling some macaroni for her macaroni salad. We're gonna cut up some scallions, jalapenos, red onion, toss it in a bowl with salt and pepper. She's gonna top that off with ketchup, mustard, mayo, and relish to finish off the topping for her macaroni salad. Once the macaroni salad is finished, she's gonna butter the top and bottom of her buns and toast it in a pan and fry up her hot dog. Once the hot dog is finished cooking, she's gonna top it off with some ketchup, mustard, relish, macaroni salad, and crushed up barbecue chips. And there you have it, Chrissy Teigen's loaded mac dog. So this one looks interesting. There's chips, macaroni. I don't know what kind of sauce is on here. Let's get it going. Mm. The macaroni and the chips taste really good with the hot dog. This one's actually really good. It kind of gives like a cold salad kind of vibe. Something you would find at a barbecue. You just throw everything on your plate because you don't want to go back for seconds. This probably isn't something I would order like off the menu that if I would see what ingredients were on it, but after tasting it, it's actually really good. Next up, we have David Chang's Chang Dog Recipe. First, he's going to start off by wrapping up a hot dog and a slice of bacon. Once you have all five wrapped up, you're going to cut up some kimchi and set that aside for the topping. In a hot pan, you're gonna cook the bacon wrapped hot dogs slowly on each side so all the sides of the bacon get nice and crispy. Once the hot dog is done cooking, you're gonna set it up in a bun and top it off with the kimchi. And boom, there you have it, David Chang's Chang Dog. This one looks like it has kimchi on it. Let's try it. This one is spicy, <laughs> really spicy. <laughs> Once you get past the spicy, the onions and the hot dog do taste good, but it's, it's hot. You got some bacon wrapped around the hot dog, which is pretty good. But that spice though, not for me. I feel like this would be for somebody who really likes Korean food, who really wants to put kimchi on everything, but this is one that's definitely not for me. Next up, we have everyone's favorite vegan specialist, Tap at the Brown. She starts off by peeling some carrots. Make sure you peel it over a towel to eliminate the mess. She's gonna top and tail the carrots and set them aside so we can get our liquid together. So in a large pot, she brings together water, amino acids, liquid smoke, A1 steak sauce, agave, and ketchup. You're gonna drop in your carrots and cook for about 10 minutes or so until tender. Once the carrots are done cooking, she tops it off with ketchup, mustard, and relish. This one here looks very interesting. Doesn't look like an ordinary hot dog. All right, I'm gonna give it a shot though. If you're vegan, this is for you. So this is a carrot in the buns. Something Bugs Bunny would order. The carrot is very soft. It just has like that garden taste to it. I don't think it goes really well with the mustard. Like I would rather put like barbecue sauce on it just to get more of like a meat vibe from it. I wouldn't put the regular condiments that they put on a hot dog. Next up, we got Maddie Matheson's different approach to a hot dog recipe. He starts off by frying up some fries in hot oil about 350 degrees. Once the fries are done, he's gonna set them aside and we're gonna start building our roux. In a pan, he's gonna add flour and butter. Once the flour and butter start getting a golden brown color, we're gonna slowly add some chicken stock until it gets the sauce consistency. At this point, we're gonna season it with salt, pepper, poultry seasoning, white pepper, ketchup, and soy sauce. Once the gravy has come to a simmer, he's gonna cut up some hot dogs and warm those through in the sauce. Lastly, he throws in some frozen peas. Now we're gonna assemble the dish. We're gonna layer some french fries and cheese curd and top it off with the hot gravy so that the cheese curds are melt. If you don't know, now you know, hot dog poutine. This one looks like something I really enjoy. This looks delicious. French fries, cut up hot dogs. Looking like a poutine. This one I like. This tastes really good. This is something I would definitely order. This is like, if I ordered it from like a diner. All the components are there. Sweet, savory, spicy. This is definitely like for a child. It's everything on one plate. This one's really good. I like this. It's all right. It's decent. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, Gordon Ramsay's hot dog recipe. He's gonna start off by cutting up some onions and sauteing it in a pan with garlic. Once that's all nicely cooked out, he's gonna throw in some cumin seed and chili pepper. Once that's all nicely toasted, he's gonna throw in some ground beef and he's gonna cook that out. We're gonna season it with some Worcestershire sauce. Don't at me. He's gonna add some tomato paste. We're gonna cook it out so that you get rid of the iron taste. He's gonna season it with salt, pepper, dried oregano, sugar, and lastly, throw in some crushed tomatoes. We're gonna cook it out slowly. Once that's all done cooking, bung in a bun and top that off with the chili. And there it is, folks. Gordon Ramsay's chili dog. This one looks like a taco hot dog, like sloppy joe kind of thing. This one right here is heavy. This one's okay, but it reminds me of public school lunch. 
Flavors are there, seasoned very well. Something I would order, something you find at a carnival or maybe at a ballpark. It's really just average, there's nothing special about this. If I was given this, I would eat it. But would I buy it? No. So which celebrity has the best hot dog recipe? Let's find out. Out of these five celebrity hot dog recipes, I would choose the hot dog with the macaroni and the chips on it. I got more of like a summer vibe from it and it seemed like a typical hot dog that I would actually want to buy. So we made it. Chrissy Teigen. Oh, Chrissy Teigen, that's my girl. Out of these five celebrity hot dogs, my favorite one definitely has to be the poutine one, the french fries with the mozzarella cheese and the cut up hot dogs. That's something that I would go for immediately if I was at a restaurant. Who made the poutine one? Chef Matty Madison. I need to find out who that is. Out of these five, I would choose the first one because the mac and cheese was just on point. Who made this hot dog? Chrissy Teigen. Oh, Chrissy Teigen? I love her. So there you have it. Chrissy Teigen takes today's celebrity glizzy challenge. Which celebrity recipe should we try next? Leave a comment below.